Uh, Yankee Stadium, are you looking forward to the lore and all that kind of stuff that goes with that part of the race? Yeah, I think for um, any European to go to Yankee Stadium is a big privilege. You know, uh, we were growing up uh, watching movies, uh, like uh, games of baseball, of course, but in the Yankee Stadium, so it's going to be some, an experience amazing for, for me. But after, uh, it doesn't change the, the goal while we, we're going there. We really need a win, and uh, especially after the last game. That last game was not a good game for us, but last game was so much better. And uh, if we keep uh, getting back to the quality of the game of last game against the uh, New York Red Bulls, we'll be okay. Last night was a very bad night for us. And uh, right now, you know, we're out of the cup, so we can take all our mind and focus only on the league. Coach says the only thing you guys are consistent with right now is being inconsistent. How do you, how do you get that back? <laughs> Agreed. You know, uh, we had three great games. Uh, we won. And then after all, like we had more or less three bad games. But now we need to get back to, uh, you know, to the good times. I think it's it's part of uh, what we've showed since the beginning of the season. You know, um, I would say uh, and found mistakes because we we don't have any enough experience. And uh, it's when uh, we're an experienced team, we keep the the same way the the full uh, eight months and right now we we show that we we're a new team and we have to be careful how do you prepare for a new york team that could look one way if pierlo lampard are on the field and another way if they aren't i mean obviously those two are two world class class players if they play yeah we we know you know that offensively they're going to be very dangerous and defensively uh, it's uh, it's not that that good you know so been focusing defense and uh, and trying to play the the kind of attack good and maybe at the end of it by a goal. How challenging is it to go forward without your manager on, on Sunday as a player? Oh, you, you know, on the field uh, we really focus on on us, so we won't change a lot. You know, we don't see what's happening out of the field, so it won't change. I'm well, sad, I'm sad for him, but it's okay. Well, really. One of the fans obviously see Orlando, New York City as a big rivalry. Does that translate to the, the players as well? Do you feel that level of, of um, intensity going up? I think this year uh, every game is like a derby as we call it, you know. We, we're a new team, we, we want to show everybody that we're not uh, as good as we were expected, we're better than that. And uh, in the last three games, uh, we might have been as good as people were expecting, but I know that this team is so much better than than what people expected. We showed it a lot of times. We just need to to get back to that time. With a player like Pirlo potentially on the field, obviously he's known for being able to pick out players all over the field from a deep lying position. How does that change kind of how you play as a center back, knowing no matter where he is, deep deep on the field, you have to be aware of, of the runs because he has the talent to to find a guy 70 yards on a diagonal ball. You know. Uh, been very focused on on the strikers, you know. Even if Pirlo is amazing, but still gonna have the ball like 20 yards, 30 yards from us. So we're gonna have to be prepared. You have to have all my trust in Igita. Well, Igita won't play, but in Darwin to to be rough as it is, and like uh, make sure that Pirlo cannot turn around. Thank you guys. Thank you.